Ba pa pum, ba pa pum. I got him, you got him, we got him. Comic issues, yeah. Welcome to Comic Issues, the show where I collect them and you select them. I'm John, and this is episode six. Think it's going to be a good one because I got a pretty cool package in the mail today. I signed up for a Kickstarter with uh, Charles Sewell and uh, Ryan Brown. They are the creators of uh, Curse Words, which is a really cool comic. Uh, it's finished now, so it's a it's a really good one to start reading. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, probably not for kids though. I mean, it's not too bad, but uh, I don't know if you'd want children reading it. But so here's the here's the omnibus cover. Look how fat that thing is. And there's a, a drawing that comes with it. Um, if you pay the up price, uh, Ryan will draw you a custom drawing, um, whatever he wants to draw, but a, a custom drawing inside the front cover. I tried to show that before I had to delete the video because it messes up the whole background and stuff. So I will post a picture of it uh, here. So if anybody that's interested, uh, they can see it. So let's uh, get on with the show and start the wheel. Should have had it up already, but I didn't. All right, here we go. You ready? One, two, three, wheel it. B -b 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 B23. B23 has it. Let me get the, uh, the comic out and we'll get to reading it. All right, got the comic. Uh, let's see what it is. This is all like here in this kind of like ASMR, this little thing opening up when I review the videos. That's what it sounds like to me. But let's go. Ooh. <laughs> uh, this is called Money Shot. So there it is. I've read this, and I like this series a lot. It's ongoing. Um, so, this uh, th this is this takes place um, when in the future, and people are trying to figure out ways to make money. So, this is about a group of people that to start to, that uh, decide to start making porn in crazy places out in outer space and with crazy animals. So we'll try to keep it light, but uh, this is just your regular, uh, regular comic. So we're gonna we're gonna read it. We'll come back and do what we can with it. Hey everyone, uh, what a great comic! That was a good one. That was by uh, done by Vault Comics uh, writer Tim Seeley and um, artist Rebecca Isaacs. And uh, Tim Seeley's just great. He uh, wrote Revival. I don't know if you've ever read that or not, but man, that's a good that's a good comic. It's kind of long. I think there's probably like 40 issues, maybe. Uh, and then uh, Dark Red, which is, uh, has been getting some traction here lately. And uh, Rebecca Isaacs has done a lot of Buffy and uh, this comic called Reaver. I, uh, I remember reading a little bit about Reaver, but not, um, I don't know much, much from it. I know I have it. Um, I don't have any Buffy's. Well, I think I have one Buffy. Though. There's a um, there's one where she uh, has a, a Pomeranian on the front that's uh, like an evil vampire Pomeranian. It just reminded me of uh, my old dog. So I got that one. So let's get into the story. Uh, so uh, knowing a little bit more about it now, I know I've, I've read it before, but um, I don't think I've ever finished it because I think this is ongoing until November. So um, yeah. So it's a, a the, the general consensus of this story is it's a story about scientists uh, having sex with aliens for the glory of ma mankind and money. So these silent scientists they they have really good ideas, but they, they don't have any way to get the money to to get them off the ground. So as they get new technology, um, they go to different planets and see if there's anything that that they can do for those planets and also make porn while they're doing it to sell back on Earth. Uh, so it starts out with the, with the main group of people, and oh, this is the last issue too, so that's kind of crazy. Um, main group of people on their ship and they go uh, to trade with this other planet. 
Um, most of the trade stuff, I'm not sure what was going on because that's where it starts from the last one. But what they're trying to do, they're trying to do the, whatever they, they're usually doing, trade and offer, tra offering their services. But this time they're trying to get a batter, battery to power their transmat field generator, which is called Money Shot. So that's where the name of the, the um, comic comes into play. And uh, so while doing this, they detect a cannon pointed at the planet uh, and spaceship, and they give this to the uh, the people that they're trying to do business with. They give this information to them that in a, that an act of war uh, in the, an act of war is coming from the planet Co cocaine. So it, it works on two levels: either cocaine and it's you know the other thing. Uh, and uh, this is being led by the science magistrate. DN Pied. I don't know what DN Pied is, uh, what they're trying to to get across there, but I know there's something hidden in there. Uh, so the planet decides to attack um, before DN Pied can attack them. But DN Pied knows this, so he uh, does the first attack damage in their planet. And they uh, they set up a communication uh, so that DN Pied can pretty much uh, portal in and say, hey, uh, you guys have been too uh, complacent. Uh, I'm I'm going to be the ruler. You guys need law, and then uh, he decides. Okay, communication down. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot you guys again. But I wanted you to know that. So everybody goes into preservation mode. Like, what can we do to to fend this off? Um, and uh, the planets turn out to be these big uh, gods that are running the show here for this this spaceship that they're kind of like their their management is what they're calling them um but they're just big big squids and everybody else lives on this uh this spaceship so they go and they ask the, the squids for help because they can't think of anything any other way and uh the squids are like you know we'd love to help but we can't move they're on these this uh this plane where if they move uh, and their water uh, they'll lose they'll just fall off the edge of the plane and just die they'll just go splash I think that's a sploosh um, but they say there is one thing that they can do but they don't do it anymore because it's too scary so Luke Kirk the president of the United States part of this porn group calls them giant space pussies they say uh, they, they pretty much deny it and say that they are anything of the sort. And this is where my panel pick comes in because it's pretty funny looking and it gives you a little uh, hint of what these big space squids look like. I'd also like to say that th it's pretty crazy that this art kind of looks like uh, the art from Curse Words that I just showed in the first of this. Um, I had no idea that that was going to happen, but uh, it's a pretty cool coincidence. So the squids decide to help uh, tr by transferring some of their power to um, to some of the people there that are trying to help. So the two main uh, their two main employees step up right away. Uh, one's an elephant and the other one's a centaur. And they uh, as they step up, the uh, the squids are like no 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 we can't do that. The handbook states clearly there can be no activities between management and employees, especially of a sexual nature. So this shows you where it's going. Uh, so they, they tell them that it, you, you pretty much have to be inseminated. So this is where the Money Shot crew really has a time to shine. Uh, they announce it's time uh, to make the Donuts film. I don't know what the Donuts film is. It must be something in the, in the other things or if it's some kind of hidden thing that I'm just not... Uh, I just don't know about some lingo or something if you know about it let me know um, so everyone gets a piece of the squids besides Luke Kirk because he called them names so as they're going to the orgy he gets thrown back um, and then it's, it cuts off to some fodder characters trying to escape while the team is being uh, inseminated by the mat uh, the magistrate notices this and requires his people to destroy um, these people that are trying to get away and he, he shouts kill them all make it sexy while wow, he's pinching his nipple 
So <laughs> it's kind of crazy that he's just got his nipple out and he's pinching it while he's doing that. But masochist, I guess. Um, so his noble warrior sets out to do the deed with the battle cry off, uh, cut off too short. Uh, for the honor of cock was all he could say uh, before being zapped by lightning. This lightning came from the recently inseminated uh, superhero-esque people now from the uh, porn group. Um, so all the heroes just, you know, after this, they're, they're trying to come to grips with what, what they can do now. And they're uh, remarking on their abilities and stuff like that. And most of the stuff I can't really say because it's uh, pretty dirty. Uh, and one guy is like, my mind is running so fast I can make out every tiny adjustment to my balance. My skin is carbon fiber. My blood is superheated plasma. And my butthole. My butthole hurts so much. And that, that, was, that was what he uh, got out of it. And while all this is going on, Luke Kirk's getting jealous. So he takes the two main employees um, hostage. Uh, takes them back, you know, says, hey, squids, you either give me um, the abilities or I'm going to kill these guys. And while that's going on, uh, somehow the elephant grows wolverine claws and stabs him in the back, kills him. So, and then... Uh, the two workers, they profess their love for each other and start kissing and stuff. So then, and then, then we go back to the main fight where Dean Pied goes down after uh, a, a, into the fight and starts fighting. And he uh, obviously he's, he has this chainsaw penis and uh, he gets defeated by somebody just whipping by and ripping it off. Uh, and then that was the end of Dean Pied. But they still have that blast to deal with, right? The second blast it just hasn't gotten here yet because it's so many light years away. Uh, so, but, it, but it's coming. They could smell it with their new, um, with their new abilities. So they say the only thing we can do is try to warp time by joining together and forming Megazord. So they do this, and uh, all their minds come together as one. They can see each other's thoughts, uh, all that stuff, and uh, they. They, they close the hole. They go back to the ship. They find out uh, Kirk is dead. And, but they say, they, well, they can't return to Earth and um, give the reasoning that Kirk is dead because he got killed by aliens. So they they strike up a deal with with the squids. They say, if you uh, will you bring back Kirk? And they're like, okay, we will, but you have to give us all the powers back. So they lose all their powers. They go back to Earth. Um, everybody can still remember everybody's thoughts and stuff like that. And the main girl, um, well, before that, uh, so Kirk comes back as a really nice guy, nice president, um, because he has been faced with death. So he says, you know, this life is, you know, worth living. Everything's great. And, um, so that's the, the rest of his story is just him being a great president, uh, which nobody likes. And um, the, then there's a one main girl um, out of the group uh, was really touched by this this process because she she was in love with this this lady and she went into that lady's mind and seen that there was such a uh, chemistry between that lady and some guy that she called off you know their romance and the other lady is so mad about it but. She doesn't ever want to tell her that she called it off just because she's seen her in her thoughts. So this all boils down to uh, a pan out of this, this, this lady telling this story to two aliens. And the whole reason this whole story happened was to get these two aliens um, comfortable with working for her for this new sex scene. And uh, that's the end. So this was a pretty good... Uh, pretty good or um original comic a lot of good insightful stuff in there uh, i'd imagine the whole thing is really good i mean i i think i bought every issue of this um and i don't ever do that because i don't have a space to do that anymore but when i find one that i really like that's it i buy them all so um 
if you guys, so it's Sunday, if you guys want a new uh, series to read for the week that you could probably get through pretty quickly, I would look up Terry Moore, uh, Motor Girl. I think that's the name of it. It's about a uh, a girl that runs a, a dump, like a car, car dump, salvage yard or whatever, and she fixes up stuff uh, with a gorilla. But there's a lot more to it than that. Terry Moore is great. He, he writes everything and he... Uh, he draws everything. So he's got another great series, but it's, it's a lot longer called Rachel Rising. Um, but those would be my picks if you guys wanted to read something this week and uh, something new. Don't forget to uh, comment below for your, uh, your picks for the next video. And I appreciate it. See you guys.